How cool is that? You can get bloody emails on your phone these days. I'm just reading here, young Jessica from the Flow Hive people sent me a thing about my spring. That's kind of cool. So apparently I'm a bit of a dipshit, as everybody would know. I've put the two springs together, maybe. Hmm, I don't know about that, but anyway, we might have to go and have a look and see if the missing spring's actually on the box already. So come along and we'll go out there and have a look before the bees wake up. Or maybe they'll wake up and... So that's the cool little hole, obviously, that the spring's meant to sit in. So, do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Eyes, you can do it. Right, yeah, here we go. That's more like it. So you've got a bit of tension, but you've also got to be able to move it. Let's see if we've got anybody having any breakfast. There's not a lot of activity up there yet. And there's a bit of stuff going on. So we might we might go and put our suits on and have a bit of a poke around in here. What do you think? Light up the smoker and have a bit of a play. As a footnote though, I might mention the fact that in the original excitement of placing this beehive out here, I actually had it facing that way, which in the afternoon sun's up here. And when it was 43 degrees, the ladies were coming back in and landing on the bloomin' landing board and they were getting because it's just a wood base they were getting quite hot and getting fried so i ended up turning it around i put a bit of a shade over it on that particular day and then i just moved it around and i've actually faced it into the morning sun now so depending on where you live i mean i guess if you live in america and it's minus three i think at the moment it's not going to be a problem but if you're in oz or in somewhere crazy like mexico maybe it was bloody hot there don't face it into the afternoon sun so is that girls don't have to actually land on a hot landing board just the other away from there or put some shade over them or maybe you could paint the landing board white but i don't know but anyway that's just a little bit of a side note they actually are on these flowers i was even thinking that that was a waste of time we've planted these jolly things and the girls didn't like any of them because they said salvias were supposed to be really good for bees and i was getting all sad but here they are check them out they're going for it oh. It might be okay. You might not get cut down yet, bush. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Thinking a bloke's going to cut down bushes just because the girls aren't getting something out of it. Don't tell the missus that he might destroy the backyard. <laughs> anyway, we'll give him a little puff. And we'll have to take our lid off. You don't know what's happening in here. Well, there's a couple. Hang on. There's a little bit of stuff going on. We'll have a look and see whether they've decided to come up into this flow nest. Is it? No, it's a flow super. I shouldn't call it a nest, should I? I think you want to be a little bit careful lifting these out with your hive tool. I'm going to put too much pressure on them. I don't think they're meant to be pulled out too often. But we're just going to have a bit of a peekaboo. But I don't think too much is going on. Oh, thinking about it, and starting to, they have been playing around here and they're doing a little bit of stuff. But I'll tell you what I reckon. I don't know if it's... It doesn't say in the instruction booklet. And I'm going to put a little bit of, get a little bit of wax and roll on there, a little bit of beeswax, melt that up. I think we'll only do two, because I'm not really sure <laughs> whether I'm meant to do that. But if with the plastic foundation, that's what you do. You roll your beeswax on there and get them encouraged, otherwise they don't like it. I'm sure if you had a really mega crazy nectar flow happening, you wouldn't have to worry about it, because they're just, like, they are trying to get here. So, you do new. Apologies, Mr. Flow Hive, if I screw up your <laughs> fancy design. So before we get too excited though, I'm just gonna have a look in the um, brood box to make sure they actually got a bit of nectar flow going on, otherwise it's <laughs> gonna be a pointless exercise, isn't it? So, oh, get ready for some excitement. Well, they haven't stuck it together too hard. They're not happy ladies. Oh, it's all right, chicky babes. Don't get excited. Now, just as a footnote, <laughs> If you've got a bee box in your backyard and you've um, got a young puppy, don't have the puppy in the yard with you whilst you're in your bee box because I have my little, lovely little new Porsche, our little new boxer puppy. She was out here, well, here she was in the backyard and somehow or other she decided to come over and see what Dad was doing with the bee box and she stuck her nose in the bloomin' opening and she ran off covered in bees. She had, I don't know how many, 20, 30 stings. And so we were in there, oh my God. And so we were there, I had to stop what I was doing and scrape the bees off her and scrape the stings off her nose and off her legs and goodness knows where else. Anyway, and I get her back into the room and we all sat there for a little bit calming down. And she goes up to her bed and she went, plop. And I thought, that does not look promising. So I sat there for, I don't know, 20 minutes and I thought, this is not a good idea. So off to the vet we go. 
hospital visit for the dog. That was the whole day. 500 bucks down the drain, but, well not down the drain, but out of rescue, dog rescue. So put your puppy somewhere other than where your beehive is if you're playing with them, especially if they're towy. Ooh, they like the bit of poop, yes. Hello everybody. Yes, yes, you are such shitty people. You're getting a new queen, you do realise that, don't you? Queen ladies. Queen people had not had a bad year, you would be requeened already. Let's have a look what's going on. See if we can leave up a brood box for any bit. Oh. Mm, so they're getting a bit of fresh nectar here, and there's still plenty there that they could store in, so that's probably what's going on. There's a sealed honey there. Heaps are empty. So I've got all enthusiastic after going to visit the young Kerry over there at Renmark and I thought I'd get my own frame holder because she reckons they're a cool idea. So let's have a go and we'll pop that on there. Come on, these girls are not impressed. We can hang our frame on there. This is why poor little Porsche got stunk because these girls are a bit shitty. Pry a bit more apart here and see if we can't find it, what, the, what the Queen's up to before we get too excited about the other part of the project. They're not doing real flash as far as neck is concerned because they're probably breathing their asses off. You can see the larvae here. See, she's actually going really quite well. She's got the older larvae here and going down in, in this mainly eggs and she's got this beautiful pattern going on. So they're actually building up some strength. Just wander along a bit in here. There's obviously a good active queen in here because she's got those nice young eggs and young larvae. This is the joys of plastic foundation. See how it's all work wobbled in? And uh, she's, they've planted, they've actually laid a nice brood pattern on this side, and they can't even use that side. So I think, being that that foundation's looking a bit iffy, we're going to put that to the edge. So I'm going to put it back in the box over this side, so the girls can hatch out all that beautiful brood, and then we'll come back in a, probably another three weeks, and they will have moved their brood to the middle, and then we'll replace this. Of course, if you had that, you could pop that up in your super if you got that. Of course, we've got, we've got the flow frame, so I don't think we can put it in a super. That would be rather fun, wouldn't it? That's why there's not a lot of nectar, because they're breeding up like crazy. So they've obviously found a bit of nice flow. And thought, wow, we better get some more workforce on the deal. Her Majesty's been laying her butt off. So this is that frame that was in there with the brood, bowed a bit with that bit of plastic. So I'm going to put that plastic part against the side of the box. I'm not over keen on plastic foundation in your brood box, but as far as putting honey on them, they're, they're all right for that. I mean, but anyway, we're going to put that to the outside edge. Put this one in here. It's not necessarily ideal. When you're normally putting your brood back together, you want to put them back how they came out. But we want to actually get rid of that frame, so we want to take that out of service. So that's a bit of a trick for you if you want to get organised. There's not a lot of flow going on, but there is a lot of young bees being made. So I reckon, just for the entertainment, so just to appease my interest, we're going to put a little bit of wax on two of these frames anyway, and just to see if that'll encourage the lasses to put a bit of nectar upstairs. I mean, they've still got a bit of a bit of room down here so it might not actually make any difference but hell anyway we'll see oh take two of these pop that back on there for the minute while we're away oh, of course the only problem to my best laid plan is that the wife's got an rdo today we've got to steal some bloody of her wax very quietly so everybody Keep it on the down low. This <laughs> 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 is pretty dangerous. <laughs> I've got myself. A is that because, like, you know, all the old rock stars are out doing tours? Is that because of Jolly the internet and they don't sell any records anymore? Or what's the story? I don't know, because I mean, hell. Yes. You'd be flat out, wouldn't you, doing a tour around the world at 70-something? I'm flat out doing a tour around my backyard at 50, so I'll be bucking how they get on. It's 
Turned out to be a lovely day. It was a bit bloomin' brisk this morning. All the little lasses are out having a bit of a dance. Good girls. Now yeah, we're not going to bother about smoking them too much. Well, we'll find out in a minute whether we should. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Apparently, my esteemed assistant said. Assistant. Says, assistant. I'm your assistant. Ah, well, okay. Apparently, my clever cameraman decided that we can't do a genuine experiment by putting them both in the middle so we're going to put one in the middle and one to the side but I've just thought of something we should probably go and get a black texture and put a dot on it so we know what's what but anyway maybe we will now we just bloody make sure we put it the right way around otherwise we won't get the honey out if we get some in there so we'll put that one there so that's number three number three from the left and we'll put this one on the edge now I'm just going to go and get a texture and put a black dot on them both. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a dumb idea. That's a bit silly. Why don't we put it by the window? Now, these cool living hives got a window in it. Let's do that. Let's put it on the other side. So I will push them across there. Push them all across. Make sure we got them lined up so they don't get crazy. And then pop it by the window. Look at that. And we'll be able to observe the chicks even better. We can open our little window and go, hello, what's going on? Without actually having to worry too much. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Mm. Yep. Pop that back there. Get down there, there's a little door. Probably wasn't the best idea to leave that there on the ground. You don't want to step on it after all. Uh, it might not be a good option, so perhaps we'll come up with a better option than that. Anyway, now we've got our u boot spring-loaded little bit. Pop it back together. So that'll be interesting to see whether the ladies favour the ones that we put a little bit of wax on. That's what we do with the plastic foundation anyway. We put a little bit of wax so it makes them build a bit easier. And, hell, who knows? Anyway, I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback and find out whether it was a good, bad or indifferent idea. Anyway, thanks all you guys for coming along for this trip with us. Thanks for you Patreon supporters, that's bloody awesome. And your subscribers and the people that just share us and like us and pass us around between everybody else. It's just absolutely awesome. And I'm glad you're enjoying the trip because we're enjoying making the show for you. Catch you soon.